Hey y'all. It's Diana again. And I'm not going to say it's in broad daylight because this is a Diana woman once removed without makeup. This is my passing part two. with my blue jeans and my t-shirt, no makeup, my hair pulled back. You've got to be able to do this and go out in public and people ma'am you. <laughs> but it was brought to my attention by a viewer in a private message that Passing not only had to do with how you look, far as you know, your feminine look, but it has to do with how you are, how you speak, how you act, how you relate to people. Now, I've never had a voice that was any trouble, but I have, through the years, talked to people, men, and then later on when I tell them my tea, they say, oh, that's why your voice is so deep. <laughs> I do have maybe a deeper voice, but for a woman my size and my height, my voice is a lot higher and lighter than my cousin Jean's. I mean, she has a really deep manly voice. She gets Sir at, at, uh, on the phone and drive in when I don't. So I know a lot of you have much deeper voices. And if you do, then you need to try to correct that either through voice training or through surgery. It is one of the first things people notice whenever you, you know, you're in public and you have to speak. And not only the tone of your voice, the things you say, uh, your reactions, uh, things that, you know, that women would say that men don't. You know, if that doesn't come natural to you, then you need to study it. Uh, how you act, how you move, how you groove, how you conduct yourself. You know, a lot of us, I was just assuming that the people I was talking to already had a feminine mystique and would not have to be taught those things. But I do realize now that a lot of trans people they tried to overcompensate and learning how to act male. So they covered up a lot of their feminine mystique while they were growing up. So they maybe don't know how to act uh, in a natural feminine way. I, on the other hand, knew what I was gonna do all my life, so I tried in school, but I never tried to really be a male. I didn't, you know, go on to marry and have children and try to fit into society as a male. Because as soon as I was old enough, I left home as a female. But a lot of people who tried to cover that up, they learned. paid attention to all that, so I knew how to act like a lady. But most of the boys did not pay attention to it. They were taught how to act like proper gentlemen. And 
that didn't really help you so much trying to be a girl. So uh, if you don't have that natural ability, you need to study women. You need to learn how to respond and things that you say that will come off female when you're in public. You know, I still say that the way you look is the most important thing at first because that's what people see. And then of course the second thing is how you sound. And then the third thing would be how you act. So uh, those are things that you need to, to work on to be able to pass in public so that you don't get those funny looks. You know, I'm tall and I'm large built and when I dress like this with no makeup, t-shirt, no jeans, I pretty much pass for a lesbian. <laughs> but <laughs> I still get those nice smiles and nods when people look at me. I don't get that funny look that people trying to figure out what's going on. I don't get that. So, you know, I'm, I've always had it really easy. Not that I'm saying everybody has to be beautiful. No, you, you don't have to be beautiful. You, you just want to pass in the world as the gender that you feel that you are. Uh, not everybody has to be beautiful. Not all women are beautiful. But still, if you've got facial hair, beards, I say they have facial hair. And if you have facial hair, you need to be able to cover that up. So you need to be able to learn how to wear makeup in a natural way. And if you've got some features that need to be minimized, you might learn contouring. I'm not saying you have to get out there and look like a drag queen when you go on the street. But you need to softly be able to make yourself look feminine. And I'm not saying you have to wear a lot of eye makeup and all that kind of stuff, because a lot of women don't wear that. It's just making yourself look feminine. That's the whole goal. Not going out looking rock hard and thinking people are gonna man you because they won't. They, they will not. You get some people will because it'll it'll click off in their head of this is a transgender person. But the average person doesn't pay attention to that. They just see what they see and they act accordingly. So try your best to get out there and, and do your best and so that you can live the life that you feel that you need to live to be happy. And you know I hate if I come off transphobic, and it's really not, because I do think everybody has the right to live their life happy, whatever that is, whether that's transgender, whether that's gay, whether that's lesbian, bi, or any of these sideline things that are going on now. Whatever makes you happy, do it. I'm just saying do it at the best you can. If you don't want to have trouble, you do the best you can not to have trouble. I am a woman that was born intersex transsexual. So I don't have any kinship to the trans women who lived majority of their lives as heterosexual men and then transition and become lesbian women. I have no kinship to those, those people. So I don't feel I'm the same. So therefore, even though I feel that you have a right to live your life and to be happy, I don't feel we're sisters and, and I don't even want to go there. But I'm not actually transphobic, I'm just phobic and people trying to say that we're all the same when we're not, and I'll never think that. And I, I will give you tough love, but I will give you love. And I've, I have a lot of wonderful friends. Some are 
the transgender people that I'm talking about. And I think a lot of some of those people, as long as you realize I'm not exactly the way you are, and I'm not trying to divide everybody up in their boxes, but we're still in our little boxes. And the only way you can break that down is for me to think I'm the same as you when I'm not, and I'm never gonna feel that way. Never in a million years. So, if you say I'm trying to do that, then that's what I'm trying to do, but I really don't feel like I am. I'm feeling like I'm just trying to be me, and you're trying to be you, and we're all trying to get along. <laughs> so, I hope that helps somebody out there, and give me another thumbs down, y'all. I know how y'all are. You don't like to hear the truth. And Diana is a truth speaker. <laughs> love y'all. I love you at least. And you know who you are. And y'all, I look terrible out in this broad daylight without any makeup on. I may have to erase this. Bye-bye.